Hey there, friends. Foster the Canadian here, and we are with Brian the Snow Slug, which uh, he is the gatekeeper of the cobblestone, of which I have uh, enough. You know, not a not a crazy amount, but I definitely have enough. I got enough wood here too. Got my resources back after the debacle last episode. Ah, we got even more wood. Cut down this tree. So you guys were letting me know how you guys want the uh, series to go, and basically, from what I've gathered. You guys want to see the building process, but you don't want to see the collection process, which I can understand because that was a whole lot of nothing right there. Just a lot of planting uh, and gathering. But, as you see here, I've uh, organized the place a little bit. There's nothing spawning here. So I figured, might as well just make it look kind of nice. So I've got a little walkway up to the snow golem area, of which we are definitely going to be making more. Now, this episode, you guys gave me a couple of cool suggestions, and uh, I'm going to be using them right now. And, uh, gonna eat this potato first. Hopefully I have a few more cooking there. So the suggestions you guys gave me is, one, build a hockey rink, and two, build a swimming pool. And when you guys brought up the swimming pool idea, it made me realize that I have mods that affect creatures that are in the ocean. So, yeah, I'm gonna build a friggin' swimming pool, see what spawns in there. I figure I'll have each one on either side of the house so that we can look out and, uh, check out the hockey rink and, uh, swimming pool and whatnot. I figure the hockey rink will be made out of cobble, the swimming pool out of oak wood. Because, I don't know, that, that feels like it makes a lot more sense to me. Okay, middle. Is this middle? Did I mark this already? It should be the middle, let's see. Uh, well, do we count it from here? or? I guess we'll just count it from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Oh, look at that. Brilliant. Okay. Time to build the swimming pool. Now this should be kind of difficult to build. If it's anything like it was with the uh, other swimming pools that I made, you can see my little downstairs area. Still not ready to show you guys what's going on in there, but it's getting closer each and every episode. Uh, you guys just, you guys can't see the progress yet. It's a secret. I can't give away all the secrets at once. Now oh, look at the snow. I love this. I love the snow. I love the skyblock area. It's wonderful. This is my home. I'm comfortable here. Okay, man, it's actually snowing quite a bit in real life now, too. I like that. I feel a little bit more comfortable, even though, yeah, it's colder. Noses are uh, a little bit runnier. People are a bit, yeah, they're cheerful, but they're a bit more uh, germy. You know, there you gotta balance it. Either someone's really germy and really cheerful, or not very cheerful, but very clean. That's not true at all. Uh, if that was true, that, that would suck. I, I like to have cheerful, clean people. That, that's just the way I am. Uh, it's actually, uh, I don't know, it, it's the spirit of, uh, the holidays. I love the spirit of the holidays. In fact, uh, you guys may remember, quite a while ago, I actually went Christmas caroling on Halloween. Got some weird reactions when I did that. Don't think I'll ever do that again. But, I mean, any way I can get an excuse to trick-or-treat is fine by me. I think I was like... I was either 20 or 21, and I was trick-or-treating, and I got candy. So I was pretty, I, got, I didn't just get candy, I got M&M cookies. That was a pretty successful uh, Halloween, especially considering, you know, I was 21, trick-or-treating. Which is, uh, it's not the weirdest thing I've done for a video, that's for darn sure. Uh, <laughs> I actually remember probably the weirdest thing, or the weirdest reaction I've got from someone. Or I should say the weirdest I've looked to someone is I went for a video I wanted to get uh, like wax to wax off my mustache because I had this whole thing going with a playoff beard and I figured you know playoffs were over might as well shave my beard in style I figured at the very end I could get uh, wax and wax my mustache off because it would be funny to see me in pain which uh, one thing I didn't realize was the wax I got wasn't very strong but it was still very painful so it took like eight tries to Ugh. It took eight tries to get the hair off, and uh, even then it was still really hair, so I had to shave it off. I'm like, no more. I can't I can't handle this anymore. So I had to, uh, you know, wimp out and just shave it. But when I went to the store, uh, the only wax they had there was bikini wax, which, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a tall, hairy guy. So when I walked up to the counter with bikini wax, uh, the cashier who looked to be late she was probably in her 20s or so and uh, it was springtime and uh, I, I got the bikini wax 
she looks at the bikini wax and she kind of gives me a weird look and she looks up at me and she says bikini wax and then me being a weirdo uh put my hands on my hips and go well i gotta look good for summer and i thought everyone was you know gonna chuckle at that because yeah it was funny i didn't realize that it would just make all five people in line stare at me like just with a grotesque look on their face. People just, they take me, uh, maybe they take life a little too seriously because that, that seems to be the reaction I get. I walk around all over the place. I was talking to my friend on Skype and, uh, you know, he was telling me to do weird things in, uh, in the mall. And not like really weird, but I'd like walk up to people and go, hey, do you guys miss pennies? I miss pennies. And uh, no one, no one said anything to me. I was walking up saying like really weird stuff to people. They would give me a look they wouldn't say anything. I don't know, I felt like, ah, uh, I don't know, I, I felt very out of place. Like, no one was getting what I was, whoa, Uber tree. No one was getting what I was trying to do. The best one, though, was uh, I walked into a nail, uh, a nail salon, a nail salon, and uh, I asked if they gave haircuts. I walk in, I, you know, I look around, and I say, hey, do you guys give haircuts here? And I just get the evil eye of death from about 15 women who are like, what the hell are you doing right now? What do you think you're doing in here? You think you're funny? And I did think I was funny. I had a big smile on my face. I'm like, okay then, I'm, I guess I'm gonna go look somewhere else for a haircut. It, it was, uh, I don't know, I, I expect to get reactions out of people, but sometimes the best reaction is no reaction at all. That's when, yeah, I, I don't know, I feel very comfortable in awkward situations. Uh, another one, probably the most awkward situation was Halo 4, Midnight Launch. I thought people would be excited. You know, the return of Master Chief after all these years. Uh, I started to hype people up. I'm like, yeah, who's ready for some Halo 4? Who wants to kick some Covenant ass? J everyone was looking at me. No one said a word. They were just glaring at me. I, I don't know. I felt like it was uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers or something. Like, I, I don't know. People are weird nowadays well i'm the weird one i guess because everyone else is doing the same thing except for me but yeah it, it feels weird when everyone's looking at you after you're saying something to them and no one says anything back there is one dude there is one dude who was having as good a time as i was who was like cheering me on who was like yeah dude halo and that that guy really it, it, he made me like continue i was like okay it's me and this dude we're gonna cheer on halo forever and uh, I, I had a really great time. I, I have a good time even when I embarrass myself because that's part of the fun for me, really. I don't have uh, what's that called? A filter. I don't have a filter. I just say whatever I think is funny, which gets me in trouble quite a bit. But, you know, it, that's probably why I got in so much trouble at school is I, oh, look at all those apples. I said what came to my mind a lot. And now I, I think about what I'm going to say, but I still say it. You know, I just figure, think about it so I know what the reaction will be first. Okay, what were we doing? Now that, hmm, I don't really want an above ground pool. Well, I mean, it's all above ground. It's all in the sky, really, a sky pool. But uh, I want it to be lower than the walkway. So I'm going to have to fix that right now. I don't have a bucket. I have one bucket. That's the most difficult thing about Skyblock is you have one bucket. If you lose that bucket... Which I hope I didn't. Did I lose the bucket? Uh oh. Come on, bucket. Oh, there it is. Okay, if you lose that bucket, you're done. There's nothing you can do. I mean, there. I guess you could cheat or something. Well, maybe not. Uh, I guess you could install like too many items, but yeah, who would do that for a bucket? But yeah, it's uh. Hey, you guys. You can't walk out in the snow. Which I don't know why you're burning. It's kind of weird. Drop iron. Drop iron, please. Ah, oh, man. Well, at least we got a potato out of them. And that's why I'm still alive. Potatoes have saved my life. Time, 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 again. That's how many times. Lots of times again. Okay. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna go into my dungeon area. Kill that guy. Who I see on the map. Stop chasing me! You're. Ch if you give me iron, I'll forgive you for chasing me. Oh, iron? Oh! <gasps> I forgive you! Oh, I forgive you! I can't believe you gave me iron! This is the best thing ever! Man, I love zombies now. They only give me cool stuff when I'm recording, though. Which, man, that's a lot better than if they gave me cool stuff while I wasn't recording. I got iron! On Skyblock Survival, I have iron! This is amazing! I can make a shovel. I'm not gonna make a shovel. 
Plenty of iron shovels. I have lots of iron items, but I, this is my first piece of just raw iron. Oh man, what are all the cool things I can do with iron? Uh, let's see. Whoop. Uh, man, I can make bars. I can make. Well, I can't make a warhammer. I could probably make a flail. <gasps> I can make an iron boomerang. Oh man. Okay, iron. We can make. Uh, we can make detector rails eventually. Uh, <laughs> compass. Let's see. Gotta be something cool and modded we can make here. We can. We can make a key. I don't know what that does. I kind of want to make one though. Oh man, I really want to make a key now. I need to figure out what that does. Big cat claw. I can make a whip. I can make a craft. Well, I can't make a crafted saddle. But uh, man, I can make a kitty bed. Don't know why I would. I can make a spear. Oh man, all the possibilities now. I can make a musket round. Cool. I can make cross. Oh, crossbow. Ah oh, man, we still need more. Well, eventually I'll be able to make a good crossbow. If I hold on to these iron, you know that's probably what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna hold on to it until I get four. That way, I can make a crossbow. Man, a crossbow is an overpowered weapon. If you guys have seen Foster's Mind, that weapon is crazy. I love it. All right, time to kill this guy just for fun. Are you in here? Oh man, he's in here, isn't he? Hello. Is this the one? Okay, this might be a little tricky. This isn't the one where uh, I have a secret in it, but... Is there a hole into the... Yep. Let me just patch that up for you. Hey, I'm patching up your floor! I'm patching up your floor! Do you do that to your carpenter? Oh, thanks for fixing my house, buddy! I'm gonna kill you! Jeez, what a jerk! So, uh, it's the middle one that I have most of the stuff in right now, so, uh... That doesn't give anything away. Actually, I don't have anything in uh, the other side one either. I don't think. Uh oh, I might be. If you see a cut, that's why. Is there? Okay, nothing's in here yet. Cool. The middle one is a secret for now. So is the upstairs, but the upstairs is a really big secret. Can't wait to reveal it. Ah, uh, man, I can't believe that guy just started attacking me. What a rude dude. Crude attitude. Had to say it. I just, I was on a rhyming roll. Couldn't stop. Okay. Should go two in, and then here. This should be a good place to put the water. Alrighty. Now, I've got to put my bucket away. Because I don't need it anymore. I mean, I do. I really need it, but not at this moment exactly. Should I go kill the uh, fire ogre? That could be a bad idea, but I'm feeling lucky. I got that iron. I'm going to eat a golden apple, and then I'm going to run in there, try to mess them up. Hopefully that's one with two heads and not uh, not two of them with one head. Which is worse? Is it two with one head or one with two head? Hmm. I'm going to have to figure that out. Ah, that's what I went in here for. Golden apple. Just left without... Oh, man, I only got one left. Okay, here we go. Wait. Where'd he go? Hey. Two head, where are you? You seen a guy with two heads? No? Okay. Well, pff, I'll have to kill you then. Ooh, more bones. Cool. Alright, might as well uh, fix that area up. Hmm. Is the water just stopping? Oh, no! What's going on there? Why is it like that? What did I... Did I break the world? I'm a little freaked out now. Why is the water like that? It Did it freeze? Or... I'm guessing it might have froze, but that doesn't make sense at all okay I'm gonna yeah now it froze hmm ah come on that's not fair should have uh still had water hmm that's a little weird that's really weird all right well I can refill this easily and now it shouldn't freeze because I got the thing over it okay man that was I'm a little freaked out now. I don't want to just fall off my water into the world. That's a weird thing to say. Fall off my water into the world. I wonder if that's happened in real life. Oh, man. I just realized. People. The corners of the earth. Falling off water into the world. People weren't talking about our world. They were talking about the Minecraft world. I'm sure that sun rotates around this world. Oh man! 
They were all just playing Minecraft hundreds of years ago. They weren't, you know, uneducated. They were just playing Minecraft. It's so obvious now. Ah. Man, we're making fun of them all the while. Turns out that we just created something a little too late. Oh, no. Fluffy, you didn't get out of the house, did you? Fluffy? Oh, no. Fluffy, where are you? Fluffy, Fluffy, Fluffy. Oh, no. Okay. Hey, Fluffy, are you... You're not in the dungeon, are you, Fluffy? Fluffy, you better not be in the dungeon there. If you're in the dungeon, I'm going to be upset with you. Fluffy? F Fluffy? Oh, no. Where's Fluffy the snow golem? Ah, if Fluffy is... If Fluffy is dead, I'll never forgive myself, ever. Okay. Dip. I. Fluffy? Well, Fluffy? Where are you, buddy? Fluffy? Oh, no. Guys, I think... I think something happened to Fluffy. Unless I, I just didn't look hard enough, right? Yeah, that's, that's probably it. I'm sure Fluffy is still around here somewhere, right? Fluffy? Are you hiding? Are you here? No? Are you... Are you here? F fluff, Fluffy? This might have been the end of Fluffy. Fl Fluffy! 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 Oh, come here, Fluffy! Wait! Ah, I need to, uh, I need to make a lead. How do I, uh, how do I do that? Uh, okay. Ah, oh, I, I have slime ball. I have the string. I'm sure I have the string. Where? It's upstairs. Just stay there, Fluffy. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, buddy. Yeah. Okay. That. I need one more. All right. Slime ball. Okay, Fluffy. Hopefully this works. If this, this doesn't work, I don't know how to get Fluffy over here. Okay, it was, uh, like, this, maybe? Yeah, there, two lead. Cool. All right, Fluffy, hey, where are you? Fluff, Fluffmeister, hey, can you just, uh, oh, come here, Fluffy. Oh, this is, I wish I had this years ago. Literally, years ago. Fluffy, you're back home, wonderful. Don't scare me like that ever again, ever. Oh. I'll take you on walks now. If you really want to go on a walk, I'll take you on a walk. Just let me know. Man, we almost lost Fluffy. That could have been awful. Okay. I don't know what we accomplished this episode. I talked about weird things that have happened to me because of videos and uh, not much else. Is that where I'm putting it? Yeah, okay. There and there. Need air. I need air. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Whew, air. How deep should this go? Maybe like, uh... Yeah, that should be good. Alright, I don't need the water here anymore. Not gonna scoop it up quite yet, because that'd be dumb. But, uh, yeah, this should definitely be deep enough. Like three, four blocks, something like that. Come on, don't want to die. Need my A key to not fail me again. Alright, come on. Ah, break! Yeah, there we go. Alrighty, that should be good. Now this right here. Now I feel like this could be a bad idea. I'm going to put a block down right here. Just going to keep swimming up. And yeah, there we go. Air. All right. Now, should be able to just break this and start working. Okay. That kind of works. <laughs> oh, boy. So yeah, we'll get to... Uh, I'll probably work on the pool in the next episode. I'll do the easy thing, which is the hockey rink, which I'm excited to build because, well, I'm a big fan of hockey. And Fluffy's alive! Where are you, Fluffy? Hey! Oh, you were the first snow golem. I can't have you jump off the edge. You gotta be more careful there, buddy. The void can beckon to those. Those weak of mind. Those strong of spirit. Anyone willing for exploration or adventure, it seems like a good opportunity for them. Trust me, it's not. I've been in the void. I don't like it. I made it out. You wouldn't make it out. You can't respawn, buddy! I can respawn! You can't respawn! Okay, I'm gonna end the episode here. 
Uh, actually, you know what? For the first time in this series, I'm gonna go to sleep. So that when I respawn, if I die, I don't have to fall in the void repeatedly over and over dying. I don't like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Until next time, this is Foster the Canadian. Sleeping in Skyblock. Finally. And saying see ya.